In a previous video, we created a primary forward lookup zone where it did not get included into Active Directory. So in this particular video, what we want to do is we want to replicate that data to the second server that's running DNS, but not do it through Active Directory. And sometimes this happens if we have more than one DNS server that's not a domain controller. So we can't store that information in our Active Directory zone. So let's go ahead and we see in DC2, we see a zone that we created earlier, and you can check that out in the playlist, the Windows Server 2016 playlist. And you can see it's called non-AD zone. So we know this is the one that's not being replicated to our other server. And here's our other server, DC1. And we can see in our forward lookup zone list, the non-AD zone.internal just does not exist. So we want that to exist on the server, but not through Active Directory replication. As I mentioned, not all DNS servers are Active Directory. So let's go ahead and right click on our non-AD zone.internal and go to properties. And from here, we're gonna go to the zone transfer tab. Now we have some options here. We can choose to any server, which may or may not be all that secure, depending on your internal structure and the security that you need. Or we could choose uh, only servers enlisted in the name servers tab. So if we click on name servers, we can see uh, DC2 is there. Let's go ahead and add DC1 and click OK. And we're going to see that show up here in a second. Sometimes it takes a minute before it populates. And we can go back to zone transfers and we can also choose only to the following servers. So if we click edit and we type in the IP address for DC1, there we go. See it found it as DC1. Then we can go ahead and click OK and click apply. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and choose only to the following servers rather than through these other ones, although any of them would work fine. Just go ahead and click OK. Now we go to our forward lookup zones in DC1. Now we need to add the secondary zone. So let's go to new zone and click next. And let's choose a secondary zone. Let's choose next. And the zone name is going to be non AD zone and capitalization does not matter dot internal. Click next. Give it the IP address of the master server. So we know DC2 is .239. So let's go ahead and type in 192.168.15.239. And we see it shows up as DC2. Let's go ahead and click Next and click Finish. And there is our non-AD zone.internal. And look at that. It replicated the record that was already in there along with the other name server information. So if we click on non-AD zone here, and then we click on non-AD zone here, and we can see it has the same information. It may not show it in the same order, but it does still show the same information. And that's how you create a secondary DNS zone in Windows Server 2016 DNS.